Hi everyone, this is a uh, tutorial on how I made my um, uh, tripod holders for my uh, cell phone. Um, I've been asked by one of the um, Instagram, actually no, it was a YouTube uh, subscriber, asked me to actually show how I make them. Um, so you're going to need two or more. Uh, duct tape rolls depending on how high you want to make your tripod holder and on one of them you're going to uh, mark where you're going to cut because you want them to be exactly even so you want to mark the middle of your roll and you're going to make a line down uh, three-fourths of an inch and then you're going to make a line a half an inch across the bottom and then you want to angle this line up um, let's see that's three-fourths of an inch so that's your measurements three-fourths of an inch down half an inch across the bottom and then three-fourths of an inch across here is where you're going to measure so you can have your angle and this is so that your phone will angle and be able to point down towards your cutting mat uh, so you'll uh, be able to you know get your items in the proper place the tripod I'm using right now for my phone as I'm filming is four rolls high um, just so you know you're going to need to have um, or make yourself a little strap I, I put a support strap in mine. You probably don't need it, but I just feel more comfortable having mine. So we're going to go ahead and cut. Let's see. I already cut one side and actually taped it down. You can use scraps to hold it down on the inside. I'm using my scrap pieces from my other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. You're just going to cut down one side to the bottom. You don't cut. We're not going to cut it out because I'm folding it over, but I want to cut down to that line. And then we're going to cut down to the line again. It's kind of hard, so cut slow so you don't cut past the line. And then you're just going to fold this in. Push down hard on it. Just go ahead and fold it on down. And then just take a piece of scrap duct tape and try to make sure that it's folded as close to that line as possible. It can be kind of hard. And that's so they'll be level. And then just take your scrap piece of duct tape, wrap it around. Pushing that down as close as you can. Wrap it around tight. You're going to be covering these up so it doesn't matter at this point what it looks like. And then you can take another piece. I'm going to use a duckling. I used my other scrap pieces already on the other side. On the inside to help keep it down because this tries to pull up I'm just reinforcing it on the inside here that little cardboard piece make sure it stays down I'm actually going to cover my rolls with this uh, rainbow tape so basically that's the cuts that you make as you can see and since I'm filming with my phone I can't show you what it looks like with the phone but I will go ahead and show you um, with my other camera that it will sit across here and it will angle it will angle down it's right there see 
and then it will angle down which is the way I have my phone right now is angling down and then what I do is I take my strap that I made and I lay it across those cuts kind of like as an extra support and I'm going to tape each one of those down on the outside And just run a piece of tape across here, hold it down, and pull it. I like to pull it a little bit tight, make sure it's nice and tight. And then you can decide um, how many rolls tall you want to make it. And you just uh, tape your rolls together before you get ready to cover them. You don't have to cover your rolls. Um, I like to cover mine. I usually um, secure them before I start wrapping the tape around with some uh, clear tape. And I think I'm going to make this one taller. I just push down to make sure they're nice and tight before I tape my tape there so there's no gaps. All right, so this one is three rolls tall, and um, it would work for, I guess, for some close up work. And so now, what I normally do, and I'm not going to take camera time to do that, is I go ahead and cover the inside of mine um, just so it looks neat. I have a thing about neatness. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then after I've done that, then I go around and cover the outside. And um, you would uh, cover. I like to go this way uh, with some of my tape when I'm doing these um, so it covers the top and the bottom. That way you can make sure that the bottom is not slick and moving around because the cardboard on the bottom kind of makes it slide easy. So that's how I make my homemade tripod. And then it will work with any of your iPhones, your Android phones. Um, if you make two of these uh, at the same depth and put the straps across them, you could actually put them together and they would hold a mini um, iPad, um, most likely. Um, I'm pretty sure it would work. Um, if someone wants to give it a try and do a video and let us know if it does work, that would be great. Um, so anyway, here you go. This was made um, at the request of, um, I believe it was Duct Tape Girl 269. 
I'm going to have to look it up on my phone and make sure, and if I was wrong, I will be sure and put it down in my um, description uh, and let her know that this was done just for her at her request. So I thank everyone for watching. I hope this little tutorial helped make it more clear about how I make my um, homemade tripod with the little slant so that I can have my phone angled down on my board. Thanks a lot for watching. I will get this uploaded and everyone enjoy. Have a great day. Thank you.